everybody. This is Tommy Sanders. He is the Director of Public Works. Nice to meet you, Tommy. Nice to meet you. How long have you been the Director of Public Works? About six months. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. What did you, how long have you been, how long have you worked for the city? I've worked for the city since 2007. I was the city engineer before I was the Director of Public Works. Wow. Are you able to sleep at night or is a lot of stress on this job? No, or? it's great. We have great employees here at the city and uh, they make my job easy. Okay, last week we had the big um, snowstorm. Right. How did we do as a city? Um, you know, I think we did pretty good. We, we had some lessons learned. And uh, in fact, we had a meeting about that this morning. But, um, but I think we fared pretty well. We started preparing in October. We had what's called a dry run where we actually practice. We hook up all our equipment. We make sure it's maintained and working properly. We make sure our employees know how to operate the equipment safely. Uh, we check our material levels, make sure we have adequate supplies uh, in case of a winter event. And so we did sort of like a, a practice in October, uh, anticipating the cold weather. Uh, this is the first event, and um, when the weather reports came in, uh, you know, I got with my staff and said, hey, let's get the, you know, let's get the vehicles charged up and uh, the radios charged up and the vehicles fueled up and, and let's get ready to go. And these are just some examples of the equipment we have. Um, these, we have three of these spreaders. This is a, uh, a spreader that we put out the aggregate and the salt with. Um, we have, we also have three plows similar to this. This is a snow plow. And, um, and basically the, the idea is um, what we're trying to do is, is once there's a layer on the road, the aggregate punches down, the traffic actually helps us because it punches the aggregate down into the ice, breaks it, puts little fractures. And the, the salt that we put on there, we don't put enough salt to melt all the ice, but it creates a brine that goes through the cracks and, and gets down between the road surface and the, the snow. And then once that brine separates the snow from the roadway, then we can come along with a plow and knock it all off. That's how it's supposed to work in theory. And that's what we're trying to do with what we put out. And the aggregate forms also uh, has two functions. It uh, serves as traction for the vehicle. So not only does it, it help the brine get to the road, it helps with traction. Everybody, this is Tommy Sant. Were y'all up all night? Oh yeah, we, we worked uh, straight through uh, from um, about 11 a.m. Tuesday morning through till Friday morning. We, we went into shift mode. We have a, we have a schedule. Part of that pre-planning process is we had a 12 hour shifts already mapped out. So when the event came in, um, we were working around the clock. We were constantly putting out material. We even have a kitchen in our shop. We, we had somebody set aside to prepare some meals so that the people in the field we could just keep the equipment on the road all the time and, and while we were reloading the equipment they would come in get them a bowl of chili get right back out out on the road tommy sanders everybody director of public works thank you for joining us sure thank you We offer in-house blood work where you can get results immediately. We also have digital x-rays. Come on down to Pet Vet Clinic. We're located at the corner of Burn Hickory and Mission Road. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. We're here Saturdays from 8 to 12. Hope to see you soon. Hey, have you checked out Treasure Chest lately? We have a whole new look in the store on our webpage, treasurechestoutlet.com. Check us out on Facebook. Like us. You may never know what might pop up that you like. But most of all, come by the store, see what we've got. Used stuff, new stuff. We've added a whole line of ornamental concrete for the yard. We have bird baths, benches, patio sets, anything that you could think of that you may want for your yard. Come by and see us at 188 North Morningside Drive. Hey guys, I'm Don Weathers with 24 Bail Bonding. You need a bondsman? I'm your man. I can get you out of any jail anywhere in the state of Georgia. I'll set you up with some easy payment plans, uh, easy payment terms. We're open 24-7, even including holidays. You need a bondsman, I'm your man. You come see me at 24 Bell Bonding, located in Cartersville, Georgia, 
770-382-2424. Come see me. Everybody, this is Brad. We're out here at the U Harley Fire Department slash what EMS? EMS. Yes, sir. So y'all share a building? Yes, sir. We do. How long have you been? First off, what? Tell everybody what is EMS? What do you do? EMS is emergency emergency medical services. We provide a ALS service for the county, which is advanced cardiac life support, which is we are able to administer all medications that the state allows. That same as the ER does, also we are trained in any trauma and medical emergencies that need to be taken care of. And you share the building with the fire department? We share the building. All, all UMS trucks are in a county fire department since we are county owned also. So you're separate calls more or less? Or We're don't... separate departments, but we house together and we have our own separate budgets. So you do the 24 hours on and 24 on and 48 off. And they own you. For they, 20... We're here for 24 hours. We're not going anywhere. You know, the one thing about what you do in fire department, when you start off, when you start this, you do this for your whole life. I mean, this is a way of life for people. Most people do. Uh, some of them will go into the nursing field from mm -hmm. this uh, service. Right. And we've had some that have went on to be PAs, which oh. are physician's assistants. Okay. You like what you do? Yes, sir. I've been at it for over 17 years. Have you been in this, have you lived in this area long? Yes, sir. I was born and raised here. You must see a lot of familiar faces out there, I would think. Yes, sir. How's that on you? It's hard when it's a very bad situation or we run a situation where we have someone who does pass away and you know the family and the children you went to school with, grown up with. It's, it's hard to deal with. Well, last, with all the snow and what we had, how did that affect you? We at Bartow County EMS, we had a plan uh, that we activated due to our uh, new director, Kevin Gary, and he had a very well uh, plan made up. We were, uh, were educated on it, trained on it, and when the, call, when the weather started, he called in a lot of different personnel. We were able to stock more trucks, have more trucks on the road. We had 10 trucks running during the storm. The first 24 hours of the storm, we ran 76 calls and never had a call holding. We were able to answer those calls as they came What in. kind of calls were they? Anything from wrecks, medical emergencies, people falling in the snow, anything that has to do with medical or trauma, we responded. So that was way up for a few days. That was yes, just sir. very, very... Yes, sir. 76 calls in one day. That's a lot of calls. For this service is a lot of calls. And we were able to handle those without any problem. Now you're making a video. You do this every year, you make a video? Yes, sir. It's called Last Dance Program. It is a video that we do at the local high schools. We go to each one of them the week of their prom. The video is shown to try to teach these teens the, ta the dangers of drinking and driving. We don't want any more teen fatalities from drinking and driving. Are you seeing a lot of teen? We're not seeing as many now as we, since we've started this program. We're hoping that that's the reason we're not seeing as many and maybe it's, it's working, teaching these teens that if you're going to do it, at least be smart enough to call some more take care of you but we don't want them doing it at all no nobody wants that no sir. absolutely and i want to thank you for joining us on cartersville uncut well thank you very much thanks for having us hi there welcome to west end pharmacy we're a locally owned pharmacy here in cartersville we're independent not associated with any chains located conveniently on west avenue next to the subway we specialize in providing great customer service to our customers. Most of our customers wait less than 10 minutes to get their prescriptions filled. We are located on West Avenue next to Subway just east of Ingalls. We accept insurance. We have competitive prices for those who do not have it. Come see us and experience the best service in town. I'm Dale Yarbrough. This is my wife, Kathy. We own the Guardian Total Pest and Termite Control and Lawn Care. We've been serving Cartersville, Bartow, and surrounding counties for over 20 years. We provide exceptional service with guaranteed results. Give us a call, 770-386-9985, or visit us on the internet, guardianpestandlawn.com. Let me explain what this is, and we've been adding quite a few of these to our collection. This is a J.D. Power actual award 
for the highest initial quality midsize premium car for 2013. This was just, just awarded to us. That means we have ranked higher in initial quality. That means problems per hundred cars sold by the actual consumer who's reported back to, hey, this is my experience buying this brand new car. The, the Hyundai Genesis has achieved the highest, the highest rating by J.D. Power. That means over the Hondas, over the Mercedes, over the BMW, over the Lexus, and over the Audi. Congratulations once again to the Hyundai family and Hyundai Genesis. Everybody, it's June out here at Pettit Creek. Good to see you, June. Hi, Dave. How are you? Pretty good. Where's Scott? Today, Scott is picking up one of our camels. She is uh, being bred. Hopefully, the test is positive, and we'll have another baby in about 13 months. Can't have too many camels. Never, never. A lot of our female camels are bred. The two in the front pasture, if you go zooming by on Cassville Road, are having a baby any day now. So give us a call if you see something happening. We'd appreciate it. Do people ever let you know when stuff's happening? I mean, I be got nine before phone, you... nine phone calls the last time a camel was born. Really? People just driving by watching it and notify you? Yep, that's why we put them there. That is so neat. All right. Tell everybody what this is. Uh, today I brought with us uh, a baby kangaroo. Mm -hmm. This is Stella and she's 10 months old. She is a red kangaroo even though she's gray. She is just a juvenile. Uh, we have a special enclosure in the house because she can't be outside yet. It's too cold. But I am her mama until she is about Oh, year, year and a half. She's going back down on the ground now, Dave. Follow me. Okay. There she goes. She, uh... Where do they normally live? Uh, she's from Australia. Okay. Uh, when she's full grown, she'll be about five feet tall. Uh, she's going to be part of our breeding program here at Pettit Creek. And, uh... Hopefully we'll have a whole mob of them. That's what you call a group of kangaroos. So we'll have a bunch of females and one male to keep them all. Do they do okay in Cartersville, Georgia? They don't mind it at all. They're nice and warm and fuzzy for the cold and uh, they love the heat. Uh, Australia's uh, climate is very similar to ours. It's just opposite. Did you have to do anything different this past with all the snow and everything this past week? We took some precautions. Uh, the camels uh, were uh, next to the barn and they had the option to get into it. None of them took the option. They all stayed outside, even though they were more than welcome to go in. So we had uh, some snowy humps, and uh, they enjoyed it and didn't seem to mind it at all. So what's going on out here at Pettit Creek? Well, it's baby season. We've got uh, lambs on the ground, baby goats. We just had a baby llama and uh, two baby uh, calves. We're waiting on camels, and uh, spring has sprung here at the farm. And you do tours and all that stuff? Every day, rain or shine. What is a tour? What does that consist of? What is uh, it? You'll walk through the farm. You get to pet and feed everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll give you a bucket of feed uh, for all the animals. We call them all up to the fence. Uh, I try to entertain you, but teach you along the way. It's fun for all ages. June, everybody out here at Pettit Creek. Thank you very much. Welcome, Dave. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Hey guys, Chris Allen here with Johnny's Pizza. And in case you haven't heard, I'm the new owner. We've totally redecorated the inside. We've added seven flat screen TVs to enjoy uh, sporting events. We have live music on Thursdays. We're starting trivia on Tuesdays in just a couple of weeks. We have the best pizza in town, hand tossed, handmade. Every pizza is made to order using the freshest ingredients right here uh, locally. Our servers are great. They have a wonderful attitude and they always have a smile on their face. We have over 75 different beer selections, including 20 on tap. So come on down and join us. Check out the new environment. Check out some great pizza. And we'll see you here. Johnny's Pizza, 244 North Dixie Avenue. Welcome. I'm Dr. Patterson at Patterson Family Chiropractic Clinic. I ask people all over the city, what do you know about chiropractic? And they all say the same thing. It helps with headaches, mid-back pain, neck pain, low back pain, and sciatic pain. Well, current research is showing that chiropractic can help with the rest of these symptoms also. I also ask, have you ever been to a chiropractor? And they either say no, or they say yes, but I didn't like the popping, the snapping, and the twisting feeling. Well, at Patterson Family Chiropractic Clinic, 
I use low force technique where there is no snapping or popping or cracking. We are located right next to Okinawa Restaurant. The telephone number is 770-383-9605. I am Dr. Patterson at Patterson Family Chiropractic Clinic and thank you. Now, tell me your name and why you're giving today. My name is Gordon Kirby. The reason I am giving today, I've been giving for at least 25 years in, in, in the Give me a good feeling. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for giving for so long. Now you're doing an apheresis donation, which is where you donate platelets. So what that does, usually people who need platelets are people like people in the hospital that are fighting cancer. So they might need platelet transfusions every week. So your donation is directly going to that patient in need at the area hospital. So did you ever do whole blood before you did platelet donations? No, I, I did both. You've done both? Yeah. yeah. So when you do the whole blood donation, we're taking three components out of your blood. We're taking the platelets, the red cells, and the plasma. And then we take that back to blood assurance, and we centrifuge that out, separate those components. And that's why we say your one donation can save three lives. When you're doing a platelet donation, the machine is actually separating your components, and you're getting the other components back to your body. So we're just taking his platelets, and then those platelets will go to Blood Assurance, be tested and typed, and then they'll come back to the area hospitals to save somebody. Thank you so much. Everybody, this is Bonnie Phillips. She's the PR person, or one of the PR people, for Blood Assurance. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having us. All right, tell everybody, what is Blood Assurance? Blood Assurance is a nonprofit, 501c3, that we started in 1972 in Chattanooga when they realized that we needed to have a safe and adequate supply of blood for the area. We've expanded all throughout uh, five different states. We have 46 counties in Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina, and Virginia now. That's our newest area. The farthest south that we come is Cartersville. We have a center here and we do blood drives here. So. Um, we're open from Monday through Friday from 9 to 5. And you are completely dependent upon people just donating. We blood. are. We are completely dependent on people uh, to volunteer their time and to come in and donate. I read that y'all were, it was, I guess last week because of the snow and everything slowed you down quite a bit. And it did. Is there a bank of blood where, I mean, are you three weeks, two months ahead or anything like that? Or what's the, what's the supply out there for hospitals? We're, we're lucky nationally. We're lucky if we're three days out. Um, you know, regionally, we're, we're doing really good if we're three days out but right now we are not hitting our uh, needed daily goal and that's 440 people area-wide to come in so um, we really need people to come in especially people with O negative blood and especially platelet donors. Um, platelets only last for five days so they're a very precious commodity. How important is this? Uh, it's extremely important. The patients in the area hospitals rely solely on these blood donors to volunteer and come in and save their lives. There's nothing, you can't manufacture it, there's nothing that we can replace it with. Are, are there ever, I mean, where there's just not enough blood out there in hospitals? There have been times uh, when the hospitals have said, you know, we're not going to do elective surgeries, and that's, that's solely because they want to save that blood in case of a trauma incident. Wow. Yeah, so this so, is needed. Yeah, so when your doctor calls and says, we're going to have to postpone your surgery, yeah. that might you know, be an indicator that the blood supply is very low. Everybody, this is Blood Assurance. You're right next to the Goodwill. Just If, you're, if people are interested in donating, just stop by. Just come on in. Yes, just come on in. Uh, to reach us, just give us a call at 770-334-3261, or you can go online to bloodassurance.org. Bonnie, thank you for joining us on Cartersville Uncut. Thank you. Are y'all? Yeah. Did you just get blood or what did you do? I donated platelets. Did it hurt? No. How did you get into this? Why are you doing this? Um, I gave, I did whole blood. I've done that for several years. And then um, my dad actually got me started donating platelets because he came, he used to come every week. And um, just it's good to donate a lot of people there's a lot of people in need of platelets and whole blood and um, i even get text messages when they're running low so i know when i need to come in um, but i come in every other week and donate platelets Greg.
record. What do you think about it? Man, I like them. Have you seen the inside? No, I have not. You gotta come check it out. Oh, the new record has so many standard features you wouldn't even believe it, like rear camera. Uh, this one here is the XL. It has leather, it has a uh, great stereo system. Um, this is the V6 model, 278 horsepower, automatic. Um, you get it a four cylinder, has about 185 horsepower. They all get over 30 miles per gallon on the highway. Um, let's see. Hi, I'm Greg with Honda Carland North. Are you looking for a good quality used vehicle? Whether it's a late model Honda, or maybe you're looking for a Nissan, a Lexus, a Cadillac, a Lincoln, we've got them all here. So make sure you come down to Honda Carland North and ask for me, and we'll get you the best possible price we can. Um, if you mention this video that you're watching here on Cartersville Uncut, I'll get you an extra $250 off the price of the car that you select. Uh, let's say you're not in the market for a car right now. Press share on this video. Share this video with your friends. When they come down and purchase a vehicle, have them mention your name, and I'll get you $100 for sending us the business. All of our vehicles here on the used car lot go through an inspection process in our service department. Most come with a warranty. They're all great cars, safe cars, something you can put your teenager in before they graduate and head off to college. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up, Mother's Day. We've got a great Lincoln Town car here for your mom. So make sure you come down, ask for me. My name is Greg at Honda Carland North and get your extra $250 off. Welcome to Santana Mexican Grill. I always order the tacos. They're just like I get in Mexico. Santana has the best tacos in town. This is so good, we order this on a regular basis for our customers, for um, our accounts that are all around the Northwest Georgia. We come here. We offer an authentic Mexican menu, daily lunch specials, and drink specials. So come on out and see us. Located on Felton Road beside Pizza Hut and behind the Lowe Shopping Center, Santana Mexican Grill, or check us out on Facebook at Santana Mexican Grill. Best chicken soup in town. Hey, this is Joe Wilson, co-owner of Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, Cartersville's locally owned funeral home, serving all of Bartow County since 1977. The biggest difference uh, of, of our funeral home here in Bartow County, Cartersville, is that we are a locally owned funeral home. Uh, we make all our decisions right here in the funeral home. When people walk in the door, they're going to meet the owner and know that we're making decisions on what's best for the families that have placed their trust and confidence in us and the needs of our community. One thing we always say to families that place their trust in us is ask a family we have served. We want people to know that when they come here for probably one of the most difficult experiences in their life, that, that they can feel comfortable with us. You know, all our family actually comes to Party Jennings. You know, once we lose a loved one, um, we, we call on them because, you know, they, they really took care of us in the past. As far as uh, controlling the funeral, um, the arrangements for the uh, traffic into to the gravesite, to everything went perfect and, you know, in order like it needed to be. And, you know, especially with a loved one that you lost, you want things to go like you're supposed to, and they've really done a, a, a professional job of doing it. Prearranging a funeral, it could be probably one of the most important things that you could do for your loved one. You have time to make those decisions in a calm, relaxed atmosphere, and you can lock in the price. In today's economy, you know, price is something that we have to think about. And by making a prearrangement in advance and funding it, you're guaranteeing that those prices will be there and you'll be protected from any future inflation. On behalf of myself and all the staff here at Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, we want you to know it would be our honor to serve your family during your time of need. Please call us at 770-382-0034. SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you find a huge selection of high-end mattresses without paying high-end prices? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you save 50 to 80% off retail every day? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. We offer the lowest prices on the best name brand mattresses. SOS Mattress and Clearance Center on Highway 41 in Cartersville, one block south of Home Depot. Look who it is, it's Barry Loudermilk running for United States Congress. Good to see you, Barry. Oh, it's good to be with you on a nice, crisp, cool, uh, windy <laughs> afternoon in Georgia. It is cold. It is. Hey, if you don't like the weather in Georgia, stick around. It'll be four inches of snow one day and 72, <laughs> inches, 72 degrees three days later. So we, we provide something for everybody. 
How is the campaign going? It is going incredibly well. I mean, we have uh, the momentum is just uh, moving forward at a rapid pace. We've uh, moved into the lead in the race. A lot of people didn't expect us to be this far uh, in the lead this early, but uh, we're just we're honored to be there. You know. Here Bartow County hasn't had a congressman since 1889, and we're right on the verge of doing that. 100 and, 104 days till the election, and uh, we're very happy to have the momentum we have. You going to forget about us? Never, never, never forget the folks. That's what this is about. I mean, being a congressman is a representative of the people. So how can you re represent the people if you're not in touch? My plan is to come home every weekend, be in district as every opportunity that we can. That keeps your feet grounded. It keeps you in touch with what's going on. And my, just as I've done in the state house and state senate, if I'm not talking to the people, if not with the people, how can you represent their, their interests? All right, you're meeting everybody in the district, I guess. What's, what's, what are they concerned about? the chaos in every sector of our nation from health care there's chaos there's no stability uh, in the economy there's no stability uh, one of the big concerns of folks is the deficit spending in Congress I mean we're spending more than we're bringing in been doing it for several years a small business as I'm a business owner I can't do that and stay in business we can't do that and, and keep our liberty and freedom uh, our debt is owned by foreign nations that do not like us we've got to we got to bring some stability one business owner told me recently, he said, Barry, I don't even know how to project my business. You know, I don't know if my taxes are going to be 8% or 80%. Somebody just tell me something. And so we've got to bring stability back in. We've got to take care of this health care crisis that Obamacare has brought in. And there's some free market solutions that uh, we're, we're ready to present in Congress the day I get there that will will bring stability back into health care, make health care affordable, and put the people and the and the doctor and the patient in charge of their own health care decisions. Are the people behind you on this? Absolutely. Uh, and the grassroots effort that we've got going on, I mean, uh, people are coming out and actually calling and asking what they can do to help our campaign. And that's where that momentum has, has just helped. And, it's, and besides the number of conservative and pro-business organizations that have endorsed us out of Washington, D.C., the most important endorsement we get is the the people right here in the district that are stepping up saying we got to get you in Washington what can we do to help now is the problem up in Washington both parties it is it really is I mean you've uh, you've got the Democrat Party there used to not be much difference between the two 40 years ago it was just some minor differences but you've got the Democratic Party now which is really leaning heavily in uh, heading in the direction of socialism and you've got the Republican Party, which is, is it, it, there's a there's an infighting in the Republican Party right now. Which way are we going to go? Are we going to go to the left or are we going to move more to the right? Our, our nation needs a correction. We need to get back to the basics of our founding father, of our founding fathers, which uh, their vision of America was the federal government was so small and limited that the average citizen tended to forget it even existed because the states and the local government uh, actually have more impact on your life than the federal government. And their idea was the only time you'd remember that there was a federal government was if we were ever attacked or you went to the post office to check your mail. Very loud and milk, everybody. Good running into you. It's good to see you too. Let's get warm. Let's get warm.